so many things that we do agree on. And one of those things is how the importance of images, especially in our modern culture, right? Like people are, are getting mad that we have a picture of the Virgin Mary or they're getting uh, mad that we have a crucifix or a picture of Jesus. It's like, do you guys not see the images that our culture is in infiltrated with? Do you guys not understand how important it is to have an image that lifts your heart to God? We're, we're in a pornified culture. You're looking on Instagram and seeing half naked girls everywhere. Do you not understand the importance of holy images in this specific time? It's almost like, I feel like God, prepared holy images for this time to get us to get our our minds out of the mud because if you don't yeah. have them you're you're there's no way to elevate your mind at all it is true because you know because that's the thing is god made us with senses and you know to reject those is i i don't really understand why you would but you know i, I guess something that i uh, a quote i heard uh i think it was saint sarah from rose that said it in the orthodox tradition but he said that uh pornography is the devil's iconography and it's so yeah. true. It's like the same way that um, an icon will elevate your spirit, elevate your mind to the things of God. Pornography, you know, exists in the opposite role to send you to hell, to completely destroy your Dude, faith. I see it as straight up oh, idol worship. I see it as an yeah. image that you're giving a part of your soul to. Like you are saying, I don't want God. This is what I want. And you're giving no, a part yeah, of your right. soul to an image. And it is like, I think it is a form of latria when you're watching porn because you are saying like, you know, you You're know, the concept something to it, you know, it's either you or God, it's either, and you pick you, and then you watch that image, you worship it, you give a sort of offering of yourself, your it, soul, you, say, on you sacrifice your, your seed to it, even in a That's sense. That's what I mean. You're, you're giving an offering to it. Like you don't even, you don't think about it like that, but that's, we're talking about an image that you're giving an offering to. I mean, that is idol worship in the ancient sense that it's not, well, something yeah. that I'm just, I'm not just grasping at straws there. That's what idols were. They thought, you know, this is a moving image that you're, you know, it's pretty crazy. So, yeah. And there was often for like pagan idol worship, there was often a sexual component as well. So it even makes sense that within a secularized culture, like, I mean, pornography and abortion have sort of taken that role where it's like you sacrifice a baby so that you can have a career, you yeah. know, and it's very similar to sacrificing a child so that you could have a plentiful harvest or something like that. Right. No, you know, they were like actual you gods that you would offer your infant to as a as an offering for um like success and things like that, right? That that video of um it was Heath Ledger's wife, uh Michelle something, standing up on the stage with her Oscar in her hand, saying, If I didn't have my abortion, I wouldn't have had this. And she's holding an idol, she's holding an Oscar, a golden idol in her hand, saying I offered my baby as a sacrifice to get that. Like, it's so nuts, that video. It's scary. Michelle Williams. Yeah. I think it was Michelle Williams. Yeah, it's real. It's real. And, you know, like, I mean, we betray Christ for a lot less than 30 pieces of silver all the time. So you want to have a sober mindedness about it. But I definitely, I definitely have found images to be, you know, super edifying. And like, at first, something that was a bit foreign and weird, you know, that, over time became something that's indispensable to me to the point where I don't, I, I literally, I have a hard time comprehending what I used to believe. And that is sort of interesting how that happens. And so quickly, um, just one as of, you're one of, one of the most important times I realized w w one of the times I realized how important images were was during COVID when we weren't allowed to go to mass and I had to have home liturgy. So I set up an altar at my home and I, and I had images and I had statues and it was like, all right, guys, we got a little altar. So we would kneel and we would pray before the altar. And it was, it's like something clicked in my head. Like, Oh, this is why this is the most important yeah. thing right now. You know, when you actually can't go and go to celebrate the, the, the Holy mass, you have this at least to, to lift your heart to heaven during that time. Yeah. That's the thing too, is like, especially for persecuted Christians that don't have access to liturgy, like at all. They don't have any access to the Eucharist. Yeah. I mean, for them, those little sacramentals, like those little images are just, they, that's all they have. Yeah. And so for us to treat it as something insignificant or as something that's dispensable is blasphemous because for a lot of people, you know, that's really, really all they have tangibly in some of these persecuted countries in the Middle East, even and in China and places like that are these little sacramental images that they keep with them, you know, yeah. and these little yeah. tiny little prayer rolls and, you know, 
So it's, you know, and even with the scriptures too, it's like, we want to keep in mind, you know, like when people in countries where it's illegal to have the Bibles, get them, their first impulse is to kiss the scriptures. Veneration is just, it's natural. It's part yeah. of what you do. Yeah. Like so. I said, even those people having the dedications with the infants, there's something natural about it. Something intuitive. They know they're supposed to do so. It's like, we don't believe in infant baptism. We're just going to do this like mock ceremony that looks just like infant baptism, but it's not really infant baptism guys. It's so weird. Yeah. It, it, they definitely have an awareness that their child, they, they love their kid and, you know, and yeah. like they want to dedicate that child to God. And it's just funny because God has given such a clear way to actually do that. Yeah. And it's through holy baptism and just they sometimes they have to reinvent the wheel and it's it's been a 